to Havelock Academy and our David Ross Sixth Form Centre. We are so delighted to have our own sixth form on site at Havelock, serving not just our own children, but also children from the wider area. Most of our Havelock children start with us in year seven, and then many of them stay on and do a seven year journey in the sixth form. We do have high expectations of our students in the sixth form. Our students wear their business dress uniform with pride, and we see this as part of a stepping stone to their next stages in their careers, be that going to university, a higher apprenticeship, or a real alternative in their next career. In addition to our wonderful sixth form building, we also have state-of-the-art facilities in the arts and in sport, as well as our science facilities and labs, so students can do practical lessons as well as their more academic lessons in the classrooms. We have a lecture theatre in our main building that is used for wider seminars. We also use this for visiting lecturers and visiting presentations. Hello, I'm Miss Woodhouse. I look after the sixth form at Havelock Academy. The David Ross sixth form is a really important part of Havelock Academy and forms the end of our students' journey from year seven all the way to year 13. We have high aspirations for our students and encourage them to reach their potential through academic study and their personal development offer. Our curriculum is based on five option blocks, so students are asked to choose either three or four subjects when they join us in year 12. And the curriculum is based on a number of academic subjects at A-level and also vocational subjects which include BTECs and some of the Welsh board qualifications. These are put in option blocks to allow students to pick a really strong combination of subjects. So they can pick to do A-level maths with sciences so biology, chemistry or physics. Some students decide to pick A-level English with history and maybe politics. Others prefer to take a mix of vocational and academic routes, so studying A-level psychology with criminology and then a BTEC health and social care qualification. So we really try to aim to meet students' individual needs. Our students are in lessons for five hours each week per subject. So that gives students a number of hours during the week to develop independent study skills, which will help them in the future if they go on to university. In addition to that, students have a lot of support in including our library, IT facilities, additional time with staff members if they need it, and part of the tutorial programme to develop independent study skills. We have a strong personal development offer alongside academic study. So our students take part in rolling tutorial programme, a weekly seminar, and also a number of different trips and visits. The sixth form students form part of the leadership of the school and a really important part of that is the student voice. So our head students are always recruited from the sixth form students and they lead our student council for the lower school. When our students leave at the end of year 13, predominantly students go on to university. Uh, we have a range of students who go all over the country and do different courses. We also have a number of students who go on to higher apprenticeships or straight into the world of work. Our entry requirements vary for each course, but our minimum offer for entry is four GCSEs at grades nine to four, which must include GCSE English and Maths. We then look for a grade six in the subject that students would like to study at A-level, uh, with the exception of Maths, Chemistry and Physics, which require students to have a grade seven at GCSE Maths. We do have the opportunity for students to resit GCSE, English and Maths if they need to. Hi, I'm Henry. I'm in Year 13 and my subjects are History, Performing Arts and BTEC Sport. Hi, I'm Isabel. I'm also in Year 13 and my subjects are History, English and Maths. Well, I chose Havelock Sixth Form because it, it was the most advantageous to me. The facilities were perfect for me, the, the staff already knew me on a personal level, they knew my strengths and weaknesses um, and I've seen personally that those students that didn't uh, attend Havelock beforehand got on with the teachers really well, made them, them great relationships quite well and developed their friendships as well so that they could get straight into it like we were, kind of get to know how they functioned and what they needed to work on as well as the skills and knowledge of the subjects. 
I chose six for them because I love that it's small class sizes and I feel like you really get that personal teaching so your teachers really get to know who you are as a student and how you learn best. My highlights would be having my confidence and my personality brought out uh, and that was part of the staff, part of the extracurricular, uh, the friendship groups I was in they kind of brought out who I was as a person and it's developed uh, as I went through the years and it's just kind of come out even more in sixth form. I think some of the highlights for me is having building really close relationships with our teachers um, and also the opportunities that were given both within school and outside of school. Well next year I'm off to Sheffield Hallam University to study physical education and school sport and then hopefully do a PGC after that. Next year I'm going to Durham University to study English Literature with a view to maybe going into journalism. I think my advice to next year's sixth formers would be to always step out of your comfort zone because I feel like I was quite like timid and shy when I first came to sixth form and I feel like my confidence has really grown and that's because I did throw myself into the opportunities and even though it's uncomfortable you need to do it. We hope that you have found this video useful and that it has given you a real flavour and taste of Havelock Academy. We look forward to seeing you in the future and welcoming you to our wonderful building. Thank you.